Alright. I hate doing these types of negative videos for the record because I feel it just feeds some people who already are always like, oh my god, this game sucks, oh my god, this game is dying, yada 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 yada, and every single time, even though the developers do good shit and overall on a really good track, objectively, they go ahead and, you know, rant about it over and over again. And if someone like me, who overall looks at it logically, is like, Oh my god, this update sucks, then they go out of their hole and be like, yeah, we told you so, even though most of them justifies logic. Anyways, that is my little side rant to start off an unfortunate video where I have, will have to talk about the Toxic Shock update, because it is bad. It is unfortunately terrible overall, because it just doesn't add anything now. I like the concept idea of what seems like to be the update schedule because a lot of other live service games do that kind of update schedule. You know, having like a main trial release every three to four months, let's say. What seems to be the case because the next main trial with the new Prime as it comes out in summer. And you know, a small update coming in between which would be nice if this update had something more to it. The Winter Kills update did because it had some balancing changes, some new MKs and on so on and so forth. However, this update doesn't have that. I think it's worth pointing out the elephant of the room real quick that the new MK challenges are not out yet. They are coming out on May 7th. Which I don't personally mind too much because I'm currently s still a bit in an Outlast Trials burnout phase as is. But it is really weird to also announce that alongside the trailer that they posted a few hours ago and give the false impression that it would come out with the event. And also it would have made more sense to release it alongside the event itself, how they did it with Winter Kills a while back. Now the event itself is a Winter Kills reskin. And a lot of people are complaining about that. I won't lie, I don't care too much that it is a reskin because Winter Kills was one of the most unique mechanics that they ever brought to the game anyways. So if you can experience it again with a new twist on it that you lose max health if you're exposed to the gas. So in instead of 4 bars you only get I have 3 bars. Like, if you get to experience... Pretty much the best event slash weekly again, I don't mind that whatsoever. But it doesn't change the fact that there was a lot of wasted potential there that just didn't make the cut, apparently. Like, I, I thought it had the potential to have something like, oh my god, we do a reworked psychosis test. Like, enemies like attacking you in psychosis and making psychosis more threatening or something like that. But now nah, instead it's just the whole winter kills gimmick again. Which is fine, also the cosmetics are fine. I find it funny because that one cosmetic you get really reminds me of some SS Nazi commando kind of guy from, you know, Wolfenstein. You know, for example, in Wolfenstein 2, the Manhattan level, where you have to go through a nuked Manhattan and you have these guys with the gas mask and the commando kind of guy. It kind of reminds me of that, which is pretty funny. But that's besides the point. All I don't think the event is necessarily disappointing. It's actually pretty tense down the line because Toy Factory, for example, which is the very last one, has both this event modifier and Ultra, which is very tense. <laughs> it is very tense, but yeah. Unfortunately though, and that's that's the main problem of this update, that's where the content ends. Again, the MK challenges are coming out later, and there's literally nothing balance-wise that will be changed. No stun nerf, no x-ray buff, no amp, you know, amplifications amp balancing or whatsoever, nothing, nothing. There's a shitload of bug fixes, the conveyor belt skip that you could do to, you know, smuggle the conveyor belts through doors is fixed now, which in my opinion, this is good. I know a lot of speedrunners will be very hateful towards that and, you know, be like, oh my god, Red Bell is removing fun, but 
that is very good obviously that you now have to play the trials it is intended it will make some ones a little bit more difficult but i don't mind figuring new shit out because i actually work for shit instead of you know just running through it and you know just blindlessly you know abusing psychosis and whatever for mechanics but yeah I that's pretty much the update and it's it's just not good it's not good and yeah i don't know what else to say besides there won't be that much outlast trials content coming out from my channel in the near future i will still do some stuff here and there i think i will probably do a toxic shock speed run streak how i've been doing with winter kills with program x with program ultra if you have seen some of these I will do a similar one to that, probably, if I had to guess, but yeah, it's, it's just not really good. And the thing, again, which I find just hateful is, I've already seen that a lot in the Outlast Trials Discord server, like Toxic Shock really <laughs> summoned a bunch of toxic people, or like, oh my god, the devs are trash, oh my god, this game is trash, yada yada yada, because they had one bad update. One bad update. And if you listen to these people, you will realize that they have no idea about game development. And no, I'm not as licking the developers just because I actually point out that just because of one bad update, it doesn't mean that the game will be dead. The developers have proven that they actually care about the game over the early access period. And I don't know what else to tell you besides that. Keep crying about, you know, oh my god, my game is dead. Hopefully you will move on if you are really desperate and like shitting the game over and over again. So, you know, you will actually be happier mentally instead of, you know, just throwing hate and hate and hate towards a game. You can actually invest your time in a game that you actually love. So, yeah. But, yeah, that's all for it. I might do a more intense update video because I have a feeling that I will do other stuff but Outlast Trials soonish which is a bit scary because going a little bit on the variety sake whether it's for streaming or videos is always dangerous I don't have to tell you that if if you have done some YouTube stuff before and you have specialized in something and then all of a sudden you do some other content and all of a sudden no one's watching it because you know your main thing was the other thing. You you know that this is very scary, but I will probably still try it and just see how it goes. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say for today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more Outlast Trials content in your near future. I will obviously cover Toxic Shock at my own pace, but again, as I also said, I'm a bit burned out of the game still, so I will take my sweetest time. The event is going till the 7th anyway, so I will have a little bit of time, but yeah. Other than that, have a great rest of your day and take care everyone. Bye bye.